of success, then we are a failure. What do you think? Hi guys, my name is Kyle August. I'm, I know that it's a weird intro, but I'm here to help you manifest your specific person in the quickest and easiest way possible. And that is the topic for today, that we are all more afraid of success than we are failure. And we're gonna discuss that and how to actually overcome it. So at first you might be thinking, well, how does that add up? Why would I be more afraid of succeeding and being with my specific person than I would be as to failing? But if you think about it, your life is going to change very drastically once you get into a relationship with your specific person. And this drastic change doesn't always align with our current reality, with what we are currently doing at this very moment. Because think about it, doesn't it feel very comfortable to go along and do everything we've all been doing every single day over and over again. There's actually a quote or in the book, Becoming Supernatural with Joe Dispenza, he talks about at the age of 35, your brain actually begins to be just a set of neurons that just refire the same thing over and over again. And you're kind of stuck in that same place. Well, you're not technically stuck in that same place. You can change it, but your mind is so ingrained with doing the same exact thing over and over again that it wants to continuously do that over and over again. But this same thing happens when it comes to our specific person and our life and how we actually want to kind of stay where we're at because it's safe and our ego thinks it's very comfortable. And the generic example quote, I think I've mentioned this before, is the idea of it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. The sense of unpredictability, especially when it comes to a specific person, is kind of scary because again, our whole life is going to change and we are not going to know how to deal with it. Obviously, we know it's going to lead to some very positive, very abundant, very amazing things, but also we're fearful of losing who we are and where we're at at this current moment. And that is the struggle when it comes to the old state and the new state. We have to completely let go of that old state, of that old story, in order to move into the new reality in which we have what we want. Throughout manifestation, there's always going to be this sense of unknown, right? Because we are moving into a new state. And we have to have this trust in the same way that if we jump, our subconscious mind is going to catch us. And a good metaphor to think of it, I tried to think of a better metaphor, uh, but it would be kind of going skydiving. Have any of you guys gone skydiving? And think about the level of trust that you have to have in everyone that's getting you ready to skydive and then eventually jumping out of the plane. You have your full undivided trust in your parachute in that it is going to go off and it's going to keep you from smashing into the ground. And again, and the surface, this sounds very scary, but this is almost the same thing that we're doing when it comes to manifestation. We are making this leap and we are trusting that everything in our subconscious mind that we've prepared mentally, physically, internally, that our subconscious mind is going to save us from smacking up against the ground. But it's still going to have that fear within us that then causes us to not desire a more unpredictable future. And again, you may still be in the belief that like, you're like, Kyle, I don't believe you. Why would I be fearful of getting everything I could ever want? But here's how I'm going to prove, or you're going to kind of realize that maybe we can introduce some more unpredictable behavior and it's going to actually help us manifest in a much quicker time frame. Think about you on your daily basis. When you do something that's in unpredictable or when something doesn't go according to the plan that you have already set for your day, how do you feel about it? A really quick example would be you're on your way to work and there's more traffic than normal. How do you feel about that? Or you get to work after that long traffic and you're expected to do a specific assignment, but they switch it up on you and you do something completely different. How do you feel about that? Most of the time we would say that we are very open and abundant to that, but it doesn't always feel good. It almost feels harder than normal, right? It's very easy to continue with the same exact activities, the same things that we've been doing before and when we do something completely different or completely new, it seems hard. It seems like un something uncomfortable that we actually don't want to do. But this same thought process towards these things are the same thing that is happening with your specific person manifestation. We are experiencing or seeing this change or this unpredictable behavior or this alteration in our love life as fearful or scary or hard or challenging. It is within a mind that if there is going to be an activity that we have a hard time predicting how we're gonna feel towards it, we kind of avoid that thing. But that is why our techniques are so important during this process. 
And I'll say, even in your visualization when you're imagining for the end, there is still that slight separation internally between what you feel like is happening in your head and then what is happening in your external reality. And that's actually the cause for this massive confusion and this feeling that when you achieve that thing in your reality, it's gonna feel much different. So in this case, you feel like you don't actually know emotionally how you would feel had you achieved that thing and then it seems scary and unpredictable and weird and odd and we kind of avoid it. So here's going to be my challenge for you to kind of open up this unpredictable behavior of the outcomes or basically, I guess maybe that did, I didn't word that right. More of being open and available to for your reality to change in the way that you want. Because when you and your specific person are together, there is going to be a lot of change. Your whole reality is never going to be the same ever again. And there's going to be a simultaneous excitement and then also a fear when it comes to that. So we need to get more well-adjusted to the unpredictable in our reality so we can be more we can feel more likely to induce that new state and let go of the old. Because no matter what, no matter where you're at, no matter who you are, it is going to feel kind of hard to let go of that old habit, that old state, those old feelings, because you've been in them so long. And again, they become a habit. So let's disrupt that right here and right now. The easiest way to do this is actually begin to introduce some unpredictable things in your reality that stray off from what you're normally doing on a day-to-day -day basis. We basically need to interrupt that old pattern of that old state so we can begin feeling and thinking that change is possible and your specific person can message you that they wanna be with you tomorrow or right after this video. Do at least one thing a week that you don't normally do. And again, it doesn't have to be something crazy out of the ordinary, magnificent, weird, and massively uncomfortable. It could be something as easy as brushing your teeth with the opposite hand in the morning. Or maybe you take lunch to work every day and instead you don't and you go out for lunch that some whatever day of the week that you want. Or maybe you call up an old friend that you haven't talked to in a while and you meet them up for dinner or go out for drinks. Or maybe you actually want to skydive next week. It could be literally anything you want, but you want it to be off of your normal beaten path. You wanna kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable during this experience. But this uncomfortability is going to actually begin altering the structures of your mind and actually help you live in your end state much and much easier. And another example of why this is so important in manifestation is think Think about when you felt frustrated or you felt like things weren't going your way. It kind of feels like you're running on this treadmill doing the same exact things over and over again and not getting any results, any changes, and things are basically say, staying in the exact same place as they always have been. But think of that thought. That's the exact nature that I'm talking about in which we are just reiterating the old story over and over again, but expecting these different results. And I know doing something as small as brushing your teeth with the opposite hand, you feel like that's not going to make a huge difference, but it absolutely is. It's changing your mind. It's believing that you can be, you can change you can become exactly what you want. And obviously these uncomfortable acts are gonna get more and more closer to the outcome that you want, obviously. I'm not saying that brush your teeth with the opposite hand is gonna manifest your SP, but it is a very good start to begin with that is gonna help us along the way massively. So try that out this week and let me know how you feel and then continue with it each and every week until the end of time because life is about change. We are never meant to remain stagnant. I wanna hear all about your successes in the comments below or your fears about kind of changing or doing something uncomfortable. Always remember, you can also reach out to me on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video if you really enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I absolutely love you all and wish you all the best and I can't wait to see you next time.